All right, here we're being asked to simplify the square root of 13. Well, there's one rule that's important to know in this type of problem, and that is if you have the square root of a times b, that can be rewritten as the square root of a times the square root of b. And the reason that is helpful is because if we can break down 13 into a series of numbers being multiplied by each other, then we might be able to pull some of those out, outside of the square root. And the way you figure this out is by using a technique called prime factorization. factorization. And I'm just going to write some basic primes here. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, and then we'll get to 13. So our job is to see if we can break 13 down into uh, a multiple of any of these primes. So we'll just go down this list. Can 13 be divided by 2? Nope, because 13 is odd, so that's not possible. Okay, that's easy. Now we go down the list. Can 13 be divided by 3? Well, there's a little trick here, which is if you add up all the digits in a number, so 1 and 3, and you add those up, um, in this case that would be 4, if that number is not divisible by 3, then the whole number is not divisible by 3. And 4 is not divisible by 3. Now, is it divisible by 5? Nope. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 5 is 15. Also not possible. Is it divisible by 7? Nope. 2 times 7 is 14, so it's not 13. 11, not divisible by 11. And now we got to 13. And what that means is that 13 is it is in itself a prime. It cannot be divided by anything else, which means that the simplest way to write the square root of 13 is just the square root of 13.